Why have autism diagnoses surged in recent decades? Anti-vaccine advocates like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. point to vaccines as the cause of an autism epidemic. The science, however, paints a different picture. The rise in diagnoses stems from broader diagnostic criteria, increased awareness and improved access to support services. In the 1980s, only severe cases were classified as autism. By the 1990s, milder conditions like Asperger's were included driving up reported rates. So what really causes autism? Studies show it's largely genetic, with heritability between 74% and 93%. Brain differences linked to autism appear as early as six months, originating in utero, well before vaccines are given. Researchers have identified dozens of genes involved, alongside rare environmental factors like maternal infections or specific drugs during pregnancy. Vaccines? Not a factor. In fact, vaccines prevent rubella, a known autism trigger. Over a dozen major studies tracking millions of children across multiple countries consistently find no link between vaccines and autism. Yet, Kennedy amplifies discredited claims, even working with researchers like David Geyer, whose vaccine autism studies were retracted and whose CDC data access was revoked for misconduct. We've seen this before. Andrew Wakefield's fraudulent 1998 paper falsely tied the MMR vaccine to autism, causing vaccination rates to plummet and measles to surge, hospitalising thousands and even claiming lives. The evidence is unequivocal. Vaccines don't cause autism. They save lives. Read more at the link in bio and stay tuned for another reel on Wakefield's debunked paper. Thanks for watching.